Hi friends, welcome back. If you are new, welcome. My name is Nikki. I'm a little embarrassed to say, well, I shouldn't be embarrassed, but I have been using a normal, just print inkjet printer for 10 years of reselling and I have finally upgraded to the Rolo thermal printer. This is not sponsored. I bought this with my own money on Amazon. So I wanted to just kind of film me setting this up, show you maybe if you're new or if you're on the fence about buying one, you can see how it's set up, how it works. Um, I did film the setup video part of this video months ago because at the end I wanted to give you a review after using this for a couple months to let you know if I think it's worth, I think I paid when I bought it, it was on sale. I got it for around the $200 mark. I know the price fluctuates. I'll link it down below. Again, not sponsored, but I'm gonna show you how I set this up, how you set it up, how you can print with Poshmark, eBay. Um, and then at the end, stick around if you want a review after a couple months. So let's jump into setting it up. I made some mistakes. I thought this was gonna be super easy to set up, but I made some mistakes when actually printing it. You'll see. We'll learn together if you're new to this and then stick around and we'll do the review. All right, so you're officially under my standing desk. Um, I don't, let me take the camera off. This is my, I love this standing desk. It was very pricey, you guys. I think I paid seven something for this, but it's 71 inches. I can fit multiple computers on it and it's motorized to stand to lower and raise and you can save the settings. So. I'm still decorating my office, my boyfriend's PlayStation, uh, remotes, uh, cords, cords. So I'm still decorating, but I think for now, I'm just gonna put the Rolo down here and I want to like manage these wires better, but let me put you guys on the stand. I think for now, we'll just put the Rolo right next to this. Um, this is the printer I was telling you about that's like, you can print photos, you can fax, you can scan, you can do everything. So here's the labels, here is the printer. Supposedly this is really easy to put together, so let's open it up and see what we can do. There we go. All right, when you open it up, it says most issues can be solved in less than a minute. Label not printing, Rolo's blinking red, we can help. So I'll save this. Um, oh, they can give you special rates, I guess, with UPS and USPS. Quick tip, if you are printing labels on a regular size printer pre previously, please change your label size. Okay, most platforms, including eBay, Amazon, Shopify, and others support both sizes, but are set to eight. 0.5 by 11. Okay, so it says on their website you can find step-by-step uh, -step how to change the label settings. I've seen it on eBay and Amazon and I think Poshmark. It's pretty easy. Looks like the user guide, alcohol pad. Let's get into it. Oh, they give you some uh, free labels as a starter. That's nice. All right, hopefully this doesn't take too long because I'm hungry. Um, quick setup video. Strongly recommend watch the short setup video. Please take a few moments. All right, maybe I'll just watch the video because I don't feel like reading this. <laughs> uh, all right, let's watch the video quickly, friends. <laughs> All right, simple enough. I will probably, well, not probably. I will need to download their drivers, um, but I want some that. Let's just do the initial setup. It looked easy enough. So we have the power supply cable. Boom. We have the printer. So tiny and cute compared to this big boy. Boom. Looks like it already has a label in there. How do you open it? Okay, I need to watch the video once more, but okay. Um there was the and there's the USB, which you plug into the Rolo and your 
um, computer. So on the video, ensure the printer is off, connect the power cable. So that's right here. Printer's off. Where? Here it is. <laughs> I'm like, what? <gasps> blink, blink, what? <laughs> uh, that's an inside joke with my best friend and I when I used to work at the Red Carlton. <laughs> okay, then you plug in these two. Plug this into the power supply. Yeah. Then connect to the USB. There was a label in there. Um, oops, geez. It's very lightweight. Load your label and make sure the purple guides are flush against the label. The label you peel off should be facing up towards the ceiling. Okay. So they gave some test labels like these. It said this side should face down says it on the label there so I'm going to open these said it should be flush let's make sure this has room to move okay carefully close but how much do I put it in I should rewatch that video carefully close Press and hold the feeder button until you hear one beep. Did I turn this on? No. Okay. Turn the power on. Oh, it's supposed to turn it on after that. And wait five seconds until the printer has initialized. Well, it hasn't started. Should I do it again? There we go. So now it's initializing. From here on, you simply feed in new labels from the back instead of the opening of the printer. Oh. Did I do that wrong? Okay, I installed the driver and that was really simple on Mac, but I noticed it's blinking red and I just tried to print some labels from eBay and I must have not put the right size because once you set it up, you have to select four by six. So let's try this again. <laughs> I don't, what am I doing wrong? <laughs> this is not that hard. I put the right size. What is happening? Why is it doing that? And why is it supposed to print, like, roll all... What? Hang on, friends. I don't... Oh, my gosh. I'm feeling a little bit... Okay, okay you guys. I figured out the problem. You have to actually go into each platform and change the label size. I thought you could just do it from your printer settings, but no. So, from your little icon and Poshmark... Um, you go to account settings and then you down here on this side and you go to shipping label settings and then instead of having 8x5, you do 4x6. Uh, Rolo's instructions don't tell you that. I had to YouTube it and found it on the College Pickers channel. So you also have to do the same thing on like every platform. They all default to just a normal printer size. So that would have been good to know because... All right, I'm going to print out a Poshmark label. Let's see how this goes. 
Hallelujah. Okay, so as you can see, I did have some issues with setting this up. It is really simple. I just think that in the instructions, it would be nice if they told you that in the actual platform that you sell on, you need to um, actually change the settings. Like you have to change the label settings in Poshmark and eBay and Amazon. And maybe they mentioned that in the driver video when you install their driver and I missed it, but I didn't see that. So. That's the number one thing. Make sure you change your settings. I'm gonna put this down because I don't wanna like drop it or something. Make sure you change your settings in the actual platform. I have been using that for three months now and I cannot believe it took me so long, you guys. I really, really should have used some of the profits from my reselling business and bought that years ago. Do you need it? Absolutely not. I should have said this in the beginning of the video. I went 10 years without it. So if all you have access to is an inkjet printer, that's all you have access to. Way back 10 years ago, you guys, before I even had an inkjet printer in my little studio apartment, I would go to the library and print stuff. They used to let me print stuff for free. I don't, libraries definitely don't do that anymore, do they? That's really sad that I haven't been to one in that long that I don't know. But 10 years ago, you could go to the library here in LA and print stuff for free. And that's what I would do. And I would go home and cut out my labels and tape them on. I've now since had many printers. So I'm looking at one now that I showed you the um, Brother printer. I still use it for work. You don't need a thermal printer, but if you have the money, I highly recommend investing in one. You don't have to get Rolo. There's other ones. I know people really like the one that's called like Zebra, I think. And it's a, it's more affordable than the Rolo. I love it, you guys. I really wish, because my reselling business has been profitable for a very long time. I could have easily taken some of the profits and purchased that. I, my friends made fun of me for years. I should have listened to them. I was just like, I am super, super frugal, you guys. If I have something for free and it's working, why would I switch it up? And I say it's free because like I mentioned, my full-time job gives me printers. And they don't care, they don't want them. They're a huge corporate business. They're like, we're literally gonna throw these printers away if someone doesn't take them. So I always take them and I use them. So I'm always, I was always like, what do I need a thermal printer for? Take it from me that's done it for 10 years. If you can afford it, make the leap. If you can't, so what? You'll do fine with just an inkjet printer, but it's just so much faster, you guys. Especially when you're a high volume seller. Can you imagine doing like 30 or 40, 50, 60, 70 packages and cutting out the labels. I can't believe I did that for so long. <laughs> I always tell you, I share the good, the bad, the ugly here. I'm embarrassed. I should have made the leap a long time ago. I should have, I should have. Do you need it? No, but if you can do it, it will save you so much time, especially if you're doing high volume like I am. I love it. So yeah, I could probably give you an update in like a year or two and we'll see like how it lasts over time because I ship a lot of labels, especially with Amazon FBA. So that thing's gonna get a lot of use. So we'll see how long it hangs in there. Um, I really like to see like longer reviews of people that have used things for like six months, a year, two years. I did a review on a hair, skin and nails vitamin for like a year. I did a year review of it, and that is one of my most popular videos on my other channel. I think it has almost like 900,000 views. I'll link that video down below if you're interested, but I think people really value like longer tail reviews. So I'll check back in with you maybe in like six months, nine months, a year, and I'll let you know how that thing holds up. Hopefully you found this helpful, you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to subscribe. I am here for you multiple times a week, and I will see you soon.